Hello everyone, welcome to the Micro Processor Executor 5 Practical Series. In previous session, we will study some basic programs. The first one is track the contents of memory location 4001H from the memory location 2000H and place the result in memory location 4002H. So we have some data in register in memory location 2000H and in 4000H. So we need to perform the subtraction of the contents of these two contents such that uh, this should be like uh, 4000 the content of 4000 H minus the contents of 2000 H and the result should be placed in 4002 H so this is the required uh, program okay uh, this first LDA 2000 then move B comma then LD and so on I will do this uh, on the uh, using the simulator and explain it there also so this is the required code I have done on the simulator so before running the code we need to store some data because it is a memory related operation so I'll just click on this data grid and at 4000 I'll store some data let me take the data as AC because uh, this is a hexadecimal uh, uh, 8085 is uh, it, it, uh, it understand hexadecimal digits so I'm uh, typing one hexadecimal number AC and then at 2000 uh, I'll take the data as uh, let us take 99 okay 99 okay. so we are doing the operation the content of 4000 minus content of 2000 so AC minus 99 let us uh, use a first a calculator and see what result we'll be getting so I have, a, I have this calculator program so I just click on this hexadecimal so AC so this is AC uh, minus 99 so we would be expecting the answer to be 1 3 so the result would be 1 3 will be stored in 4000 tool so let us see what we are getting so we uh, let us execute the code so the very first step okay okay with the first step LDA 2000 so data which is at memory location 2000 that is 99 it gets stored in register A so LDA is load accumulate direct then with the next step we transfer the contents from A to B because we need to fetch the other data from 4000 also so we first of all fetch the data of the menu end so if we are doing a minus suppose we are performing our data like p minus q so first we are fetching q and storing it into b and now we are fetching in the next step we will fetch the p okay so this 99 it gets stored in b okay with the next step LDA 4000 so data which is in register which is in memory location 4000 that is AC it gets stored in register A so now the subtraction becomes simple so we just need to perform A minus B because B contains the data from 2000 and A contains the data from 4000 okay so with sub B we have A minus B and the result gets stored in register A so this is what we are expecting we, we expect the answer as 1 3 which we got I have shown it using the calculator we will get the answer as 1 3 now the next step is to store the result in 4002 so we just need this STA so STA so here we have uh, store accurate direct so this instruction stores the data from register A to memory location 4002 so we get here 13H and then the last is hold so this is how we execute this particular uh, program now let us go to the next one so now in the next program we have this uh, subtract two 8-bit numbers so we store the first 8-bit number in A the second in C and subtract the contents so we are doing A minus C and the result will be stored in register A so it is 9 6 minus 7 4 and the result will be stored in register A let us see how we do this in simulator and what answer we are getting so here we are in the simulator so let us see what result we will be getting so I just open the calculator and uh, just click on hexadecimal so 96 minus 74 so the answer is 2 2 okay, in hexadecimal so let us uh, run this code run this pro all the the program so for the first step MVI a 96 so 96 gets stored in register A then uh, MVIC 74 so 74 gets stored in register C now you do sub c sub c is a equal to a minus c so this instruction sub c it will subtract the contents a minus c you do this operation a minus c and the result will be stored in a so a will become as we know 22 2 2 actually this is 2 2 so this is the result okay. and next is the hold so this is how we do this particular program now let us go to the next program 
now next program is a uh, addition of 16 bit number so here is the problem add the 16 bit number in memory locations 4000 h and 4001 h to the 16 bit number in memory location 4002 and 4003 and the most significant eight digits of the two numbers to be added are in locations 4001 and 4003 store the result in memory in 4004 and 4005 such that the most significant byte in the memory is is in location 4005 so let us first understand so we have a 16 bit number now any memory location it can only store 8 bit or 8 bit number so at 4000 suppose we have 10 at 4001 we have 30 so this combined becomes a 16 bit number such that this 30 is the most significant and 10 is the least significant so we have this number 3010 as the first 16 bit number stored at 4000 and 4001 respectively now the next number is stored in location 4002 and 3 such that the most significant 40 is in 4003 and least significant is 50 at 4002 so this is the second number so when we add them of course this is a straightforward addition so uh, whether it is decimal or hexadecimal in this particular case we will get the same result so this is the result is 7060 so uh, the result should be stored in such a way that the least significant byte is at 4004 and the most significant is at 4005 this is what we have to do so this is the required program okay, required uh, sm language program so let us uh, execute this on the simulator i will explain it there itself so this is the required code i have entered into the simulator and here is the data 10 30 50 40 that i have shown so let us start with the execution with the first step LHLD 4000 now what this instruction does this instruction copies the data from the memory location 4000 okay the first memory location the, the first content is copied into L as you can see so when we write LHLD 4000 so the data which is at 4000 now here it is 10 it gets stored in register L and the next one 4001 that is the data in this case is 30 it gets stored in H so what we are instructing the microprocessor from LHLD store the data from this memory location into HL register pair such that the first byte will get stored in L the other in H so we first of all transfer the data from memory location to HL register pair by using this LHLD in the next step we have exchange XCHG now what this XCHG instruction does it exchanges the contents of HL with DE so whatever is in D will go into HL such that D will actually get uh, so it is actually interchanging the contents of D with HL so here as we can see DE was 0000 and HL was 3010 so 3010 gets transferred in D and HL becomes 00 so 30 is exchanged with 00 with D uh, with between H and L and 10 and 00 are exchanged between L and E so this is what we are getting now next step when we execute LHLD so again this instruction is similar to the first one so it uh, transfers the contents from 4002 that is 50 into L and the next one okay uh, 4003 40 into H so now the data has come into H L and D so this is our data next instruction dad d now what this dad d does dad d is double add so this dad instruction it adds the contents of hl with d it performs a 16 bit therefore it is called as double add so this is a special addition instruction where a is not there and uh, it performs 16 bit uh, that is two byte addition together so it, it adds hl with d and stores the result in hl so here we have the result 7060 so this is as we can see 50 plus 10 is 60 and 40 plus 30 is 70 now we need to store this to 4004 and 4005 so this is shld so it is opposite of lhld so shld it stores the data from hl register pair into memory location 4004 and 4005 so let us see what happens so here we are so whatever data is in L, it gets stored in 4004 
and the next 70 it gets to at 4005 so this result 70 is the most significant it gets to at 4005 and the least significant is at 4004 and the next instruction is halt so this is how we execute this particular program now let us go to the next one so this is the next program so add the contents of memory locations 4000h and 4001h and place the result in memory locations 4002h and 4003h so we have two numbers at these two memory location 4000 and 4001 we need to add the contents and then store the sum store the result in 4002 and suppose if a carry is generated then the carry must come in 4003h so the result may go beyond uh, 8 uh, beyond 8 bits or 1 byte so that carry should be stored in 4003 so this is the required code we initialize the memory location and do this part i will explain this code in the simulator so now let us jump to the simulator part so now we are into the simulator i have entered this code okay i'll explain it one by one when we go on the execution part and here in the data grid we need to save some data so i have saved uh, i have stored four five at four thousand and eight six at four thousand one so this program will add this to data and the sum will be stored at four zero zero two and if a carry is generated then carry will be stored at four thousand three so first let first of all let us check what answer we will be getting so this is hexadecimal so i will click on hexadecimal so four five plus eight six so the answer would be cb and this answer will be stored in memory location 4002 here and uh, because a carry is not generated so we don't get any carry so this 4000 will remain zero zero as is as, as it is now let us run stepwise so with, with the first step alexa h4000 so this 400 will be stored in, re in register pair hl so h will contain 40 l will contain 00 of course they will also act as a memory pointer now next is mvic 00 so we are storing 00 in register c initializing this with 00 so that in case if any carry is generated then the carry will be stored this in this c register c so z c will become 0 and in case if uh, that addition generates a carry now next step is move a comma m now what this instruction move a comma m does it transfers the contents of memory location to a and this memory location is pointed by HL register pair. So HL contains 4000 and this contains 45. So 45 gets to register A. Now next, INXH. INXH increases this memory pointer 4. It makes 4000 as 4001. So we go to the next memory pointer. So next step, add M. Now what add M does? Add M adds the contents of register A with the contents of memory location which is pointed by hl now hl is pointing at 86 and a contains 45 so 45 plus 86 the sum is stored in register a so a becomes cb that is what we are expecting okay and then here next step jnc so jnc it checks whether uh, carry is generated or not so jnc as carry is not generated okay as you can see here cy00 so because carry is not generated so we are giving the instruction jump if no carry to 800c so this will jump to inxh inrc won't be uh, executed so c remains as 00 indicating there is no carry generated okay so it directly jumps to inxh inrc is not executed so c remains as 00 now inxh will increment this content by 1 so it becomes 4002 okay now the next step move m comma a it stores the result of register a which is the sum to memory location pointed by hl so hl is pointing to 4002 so the result is cb which is stored in this memory location from a to this then with next inxh we move to the next memory pointer 4003 okay and here we store the the carry because carry is not generated so this remains as 00 and we come to the halt so the result is c 00 cv okay so let us see one example where carry is generated okay so what we need to do is just we'll just change this content okay 4 5 i will make it as 8 8 and this we can even change it to some different number like a c so now let us run this i'll just run with this okay or let us go by step by step 
so first step this is what we getting mvic 00 now with move a comma m the content of 4000 gets stored in a with the next step memory point incremented with the next step this content is added so after addition we get 3 4 and you can see carry is generated here carry is generated okay and here we are giving jump if no carry but carry is generated it won't jump okay it will increment this c by 1 so c becomes 0 1 okay with the next step okay the result is stored here as you can see the result is 3 4 with the next step we are increment the memory pointer and the carry is stored here okay so the result is 0 1 3 4 let us verify this okay so what we are adding is we are adding 8 8 with ac okay so 8 8 plus ac so it is 1 3 4 so 3 4 gets stored in this 4002 and this one is 0 1 it gets stored in 4003 so that's how we do this particular program so that's all for this session we'll continue this program this practicals in the next session so by the way thanks for watching